morning at Holy Cross Primary. Mrs Murphy asked me to do this assembly for you and I'd like to take this opportunity to, to speak about St Joseph. We've got the statue of St Joseph here, normally sits at the, in the porch area as you come in the main door of Holy Cross. And there were happy days when we were able to do that. Um, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jacob is the father of Joseph, who was the husband of Mary. She was the mother of Jesus, who is called the Messiah. This is how Jesus Christ was born. A young woman named Mary was engaged to Joseph from King David's family. But before they were married, she learned she was going to have a baby by God's Holy Spirit. Joseph was a good man and did not want to embarrass Mary in front of everyone, so he decided to quietly call off the wedding. Well, Joseph was thinking about this, an angel from the Lord came to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, the baby that Mary will have is from the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and marry her. Then after her baby is born, name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. After Joseph woke up, he and Mary were soon married. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, boys and girls, um, we've got the statue here of St. Joseph. We, we, and I always wondered why, you know, we, obviously we've got the set square for his work as a carpenter. We've got his tools, he's got a hammer there and some pincers and his little toolbox and I always wondered what the book was and I was looking things up there and some suggest it's the it's his workbook for taking notes for making measurements and so on. Another one possibility is that because of this what was just heard he wasn't sure uh, what was going on. He knew Mary was a good good woman but young woman but he didn't know what was going on with her being pregnant so what he did was he, he read the scriptures, he read the Old Testament to try and find an answer. Some suggest he was looking at maybe that's what he read. The, the virgin with child and soon give birth to a son. And so maybe that's what the book is about. Anyway, but we're here. He's trying to, not sure what to do, and yet he's guided in a dream to do what is, what is, what is and to become the husband of Mary and foster father of Jesus. St. Joseph is famous for being quiet. We don't have any recorded words in the, the, the Gospels at all, so he's a quiet one. So for those in the class that are quiet, then perhaps he's your man. For those that like talking, perhaps he's your man as well. So we can listen as well as talk. What does it say? Two ears, only one mouth. It's good to do both. It's good to do both. Place for both. A time and a place for both. So St. Joseph... As well as being a worker, it's also is the patron saint of all just causes, but also giving an example of listening and being aware of what's going on around us and helping us in you know, difficult situations. Go to Joseph is, is the phrase. He's also the patron saint of a happy death because we presume that it's not mentioned in Jesus' public ministry when Jesus is going about doing good. It's not mentioned at all, just in passing, is uh, Jesus called the son of a carpenter, uh, for example. So we think that he died, and then to be have Mary and Jesus beside you when you're dying is a lovely thing, thought, so that's why we call him patient saint of a happy death. Why I'm doing this is that Pope Francis declared this year, or mostly of 2021, year of St. Joseph, right up to the 8th of December. So it's a... So He's asked us to really, really make a, an effort to bring our attention to St. Joseph. He's singled out Wednesdays, so perhaps because it's the middle of the working week, perhaps it's if, to remember St. Joseph on a Wednesday. So if you would like to do that each Wednesday, whatever way you want, the Pope encourages us to, to do that. So I'm going to say a little prayer the Pope wrote, but then finish with a verse of um, Dear St. Joseph. But you can do anything, you can make up your own prayer and write it and read it on every Wednesday, either when you're up in the morning or when you finish hard work, uh, homeschool or back at school, whatever we are. 
uh, as, as you decide. This is the one from Pope Francis. He suggests this prayer, but you can make up your own. Don't be, don't be anxious. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. Let's finish with one verse. Dear Saint Joseph, pure and gentle, guardian of the Saviour child, treading with the Virgin Mother, Egypt's desert rough and wild, Hail Saint Joseph, spouse of Mary, blessed above all saints on high. When the death shades round us gather, teach, oh, teach us how to die. Teach, oh, teach us how to die. Lord be with you. May God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be.